welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you a method like it's a standard way to keep all the monoclonal antibodies burned in your memory so that when you get stuck on a question uh, you really can make your way out of it one for any given antibody like omelizumab for example you don't just need to know the target of the antibody like what it does but you also need to know the nature of this antibody is it fully human is it fully mouse or is it a mix so I'm gonna highlight right now with my pen what you should do you have map ignore the map all right you got ZU now I figure out it's humanized and I got an L now I figure out it's an immunomodulator actually this antibody is used for asthma against Ig so how did I figure out this Way to approach uh, antibodies is to recognize that drug companies only get to choose the first name so if you actually know how the standard system for naming is made you can essentially figure out any antibody its target as well as its nature so any antibody has a first name has a middle name and a last name right the first name is chosen by the company they can choose John, for instance, all right? And the last name is MAB, as for monoclonal antibody, all right? So you just need to ignore this because it's not going to affect, uh, like, the type of antibody much. However, the middle name is really the most important thing here. You got two middle names for any antibody. The letter just before MAB stands for the nature of the antibody. If this letter is a U, for example, this antibody is fully human, all right? And the letter just before uh, this U is, or it determines the target of the antibody. Uh, if it's an L, for example, then it's an immunomodulator. So let's just wrap this together. John Lou Map. All right, if we're going to name an antibody John Lu Mab, then this is an antibody that is an immunomodulator, human monoclonal antibody. So I can essentially figure out everything about this monoclonal antibody just from the name, right? recognize the nature of the antibody we're going to focus on the letter just before the map all right if this letter is u as we mentioned earlier it's human if it's an o it's mouse all right if it's xi it's chimeric as in part human part mouse and if it's zu then it's humanized all right and the only difference between chimeric and humanized is that humanized essentially has more human components. It's only this part that is mouse derived. All right? So why don't you test yourself? All right, the next letter that you need to uh, used to figure out the target of the antibody is the letter just before the U, all right? Or the letter just before the one that talks about the nature, okay? L tells me this is immunomodulator, right? However, it doesn't have to be an L every time, right? It could be a C. In that case, this is an antibody targeted against cardiovascular conditions. Um, it could be an L, as we mentioned. It could be a K. In that case, it's an antibody against an inner leukin. It could be an O, and in that case, it's against bone or like acting in bone, not necessarily against. If it's a T, it's a, against a tumor, all right? And lastly, if it's a V, then it's viral. So if it's John Vu Map, for example, this is an antiviral antibody. Now, uh, you might be, you might ask me about the letters in brackets. This is just something to keep, like, so, so as to make you pronounce it better. If the letter, if the letter here is not a vowel, you just ignore that, okay? So let's take, for example, Trastuzumab. Okay. Ignore the map and take a look at the letter just before it. It's a U, then it's human, 
or uh, it's a ZU, I mean, then it's a humanized, sorry. And just before the ZU, it's a two, so that's tumor, all right? So trastuzumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody against a particular tumor. Uh, it's actually, it's against HER2 positive breast cancer. So once you actually recognize this standard method, uh, you it can give you a picture of like what to expect, nature and target. And then you only need to memorize the small details of it's HER2 positive breast cancer or whatever, right?